this Minecraft civilization experiment, four teams are split up into four different islands with each of their own advantages and disadvantages. Now to make matters worse, there is also a parasite virus growing stronger and stronger every minute, slowly destroying all living things. Now to beat this virus and save the world, these teams must come together and kill the parasite ender dragon. And only then the world will be freed from total destruction. Will these four teams be able to work together to save the Minecraft world from the parasite apocalypse or will it end in an all out war? Welcome to the 100 player parasite experiment. If you want to join in on future events, make sure to join the Discord server, link in the description. Also, lastly, consider subscribing if you enjoy this video. Anyways, on to the experiment. The parasites were hungry for blood, so these four teams had to be extremely careful if they wanted to survive this apocalypse. The first team to participate in the experiment was called the Snowblind Lunatics. They were a team just filled with a bunch of lunatics. Over on the desert island, there was a team called the Sand Eaters. Now this team in particular loved to spend their time over the hot sun, listening to stall and fishing in the local pond. Now the third team was located over on the Plains Island. They were called the Parasite Elimination Squad. Now this team for some reason loved to spend their times in the mountains. Now the last team in this experiment was located in the jungle island. Uh, this team was known as the Green Barrettes. They knew the ins and outs of the forest. The trees was the key to their success. Now since all the teams were ready to go, it was time to release them into the dangerous environment of the parasite infested world. When the Snowblind Lunatics got released, immediately they all went their separate ways. Some of the team went to go get some wood, and by some of their team I mean literally their whole goddamn entire team was, was mining one tree. Now that's maximum efficiency if I have ever seen it. Now while like literally 95% of the team was mining wood, three members made it over to the starter structure nearby. Now anyways, the others that were not mining wood or doing pointless tasks we're, uh, we're raiding all the nearby structures, trying to find as much loot as possible. Trust me, they would need it. Now over on the desert island, the Sand Eaters were released. They all split up and went to a nearby pyramid with some, uh, some cheeky little traps I spent hours making, so... It was completely unbeatable. I'm gonna watch these people die. <laughs> I'm watching these people die. Oh my god, they know about it. This is oh, stupid. Oh. Okay, never mind, the trap was completely useless. <laughs> I then split off with a group of my teammates to go get as much supplies as possible. <laughs> Wait, where we are went, you? We went behind you. No. Oh, I see you. We're All right, this, so this is not oh, a good start. So Let's go. The worst Minecraft you... players and put them on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, a group of my team uh, decided to head straight up towards the huge house with a, a villager inside that provided no purpose and just as a decoration. And it seemed like the group of people uh, from the Sand Eaters were starting to settle down and make a base close to this huge house. Things were looking quite good for this team. Now all the way across the map from the Sand Eaters on the Plains Island, Pez was finally released. Oh, go, go, we're go. Yes, we're out, we're out, boys, we're out. Let's beat the game in like 10 minutes. Yo, speed run. Oh, Do oh, the dream music. Do -do -do. Where did everyone go? Immediately, their entire team went to destroy the environment. I'm gonna get some wood so we can get those benches. Exactly. Oh yeah, good, good, good point. Got an AK. Some basic AK. How did someone get diamonds? Dude, I remember. Yeah, baby, that's what we're waiting for. That's what it's all about. Hey, yeah. yeah, should we be that concerned that there's a there's a dude named Hugh Anus in our uh, thing and it uh he's a looting three book for sale? <laughs> no comment. He's a looting three book. 
<laughs> what? Yep, I could tell you this team was going to be a very serious team. You've got, like, everyone just mining wood, and then there's this, like, Among Us guy just staring up at the sky, wondering if life is real. Some split off to loot the main structures, and then some raided the other structures nearby to get some loot. So yeah, I guess, uh, other than this cursed horse with comically long legs, nothing really happened over on this team at the beginning. On to the next team. Now, the Green Brats was an interesting team. I mean, I had a lot of faith in this team. Uh, it seemed like they were being very serious. They had some people actually having camouflage skins so they, can, so they could hide in trees and not be seen easily. Anyways, immediately, one started to beat the ever-living hell out of this innocent sheep, just for fun. And then the others decided to group up inside this base and gather all the loot inside. Oh, oh, guys, uh, it's a very big... Ah! Ah! It hurt me! Guys, I don't have food. I Get, get, food. get fishing rods! That's the only way we're gonna survive around here. Now, while all the other players were gathering loot and supplies and being useful, uh, some others decided to fish, which may seem very pointless, but honestly, food will run very low when advancing in this experiment. So fishing was a must to survive and not starve. Yeah, people are starving already. Don't run. Don't run. Yeah, I know. I am almost at three. I won't be able to run soon. Now this team needed to loot as much as possible and build a base before sundown if they wanted to survive. Now back over on the snowblind lunatics, they actually ran into their first parasite, a buglin, a slug-like creature that infects living things spreading the virus. So this thing needed to be taken care of. Now once he dealt with the parasite underground, this team decided to start making a huge base right next to the, the huge mansion structure. This place would soon be their main base, and let me tell you, this thing is insane. Now while the huge base was being made, someone by the name of Redless, the dollar store ripoff of me, decided to split off from his team and uh, head over to this desert island where the Sand Eaters were. He was up to something, uh, something mischievous. Now remember at the beginning of this experiment, there was a little group I was with uh, that went out exploring. Yeah, well, we were scavenging around the structures, finding anything we could loot. We were very serious, and there was no room for errors. Oh, oh, run, 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 oh run. Oh my, oh my god. That's so much for leg, huh? It's fine. Look, I found iron. It was worth it, okay? Did you press the lever? <laughs> Maybe. Oh my, oh my god. Goodness. Dude, I was still in the chest when you pressed it. It said press. It said press for free diamonds and he presses well, you it. Know, oh what? Why would you lie to us, man? Yeah, no, so apparently people still fall for the classic press the free diamonds trick. Man, we almost got disintegrated from 14 tons of TNT because this this guy, this very smart, smart, intelligent person. Now over on the Pez team, they decided to try to use the tall mountains to their advantage and make a base up there so they would have a sort of overlook of the place. So yeah, they decided it would be the smartest idea to get some builders together to start making the base and then assign some scavengers to go get as much loot as possible. Those little rats, dude. They're getting everything. All right, which way is this? So I think west. Yeah, okay, That the island's over there, okay? That is important to note. Looted. Man, these people suck, bro. And then they also assigned some miners to go mining and uh, find as much diamonds and iron as possible. Now over on the Green Barrettes team, they finally came together and started settling down to make a base. They wanted to make it on this little island just off the shore, so they'd have some water separating them from the island. This would help defend against any players or parasites that try to enter. It seemed like this team was pretty organized. I mean, it seemed like they had some dedicated farmers and also some builders in charge of handling the base this team may be pretty difficult to defeat yo how do you use a fishing rod a night soon arrived fast and the creatures that lurked in the shadows were released all teams needed to be extremely careful or their time in this experiment may be short-lived yeah no this team was really playing it slow and safe they had some of their members out risking their life exploring finding some loot and well, the others were, um, well... So our little scavenging group, we're still trying to find as much materials as possible. 
to bring back to her team. Well, that was until it turned night. We decided to take refuge inside a little house nearby the, the desert. It seemed like a good place to stay since, well, there were like literal hundreds of mobs roaming around. All right. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Anyways, well, the rest of the team was still building away at the main base. They built a new farm as well as a fishing pond where they could, uh, well, fish, I guess. They also lit up the top of the mountain as well as a, making a dirt wall around the perimeter of the base. Now on day two when scavenging around the area, we found today's sponsor, Stoneworks. Now when you join this server, you basically have the freedom to do whatever you want. You can create your own nations, towns, religion, and even create history. Now one of my favorite places to visit on this server is the wonderful world of Eldhem, a place where huge battles among civilizations occur, very frequently actually. So I decided to participate in a huge 200 player war where the Valpyrium and the Eldhem Alliance were battling it out. I however decided to join the attackers team and we needed to capture the keep of the Valpyrium. This was going to be an intense battle. That was nuts. And with my huge help towards the team, with a combined zero kills, I exited the battlefield like a goddamn war hero. So if this server seems like the perfect fit for you, which I don't know why it wouldn't, then join the Stoneworks Discord server to interact with the huge 50,000 others in this amazing community. So join now using this IP. See you on the server, soldier. Anyways, back to the video. Now over on the other side of the desert, there was just the five of us. Uh, we just woke up in the morning on day two and were ready to leave this house. However, <laughs> there was a lot of mobs outside, so we had to be careful. I'm gonna shoot this creeper. Nice, nice. After dealing with the mobs outside, me and a player called Comical Fish decided to split off from the group to try to find the rest of our team which was on the other side of the island. So <laughs> this was gonna be a very, very dangerous journey, but we had to get back to the base. Over on the Green Barrettes, it seemed like their home base was improving drastically. They built a headquarters for their team in the middle of their base and also had a bunch of their teammates each doing their own task. Like this, this microwave was fishing, which uh, doesn't make any sense at all. So you remember that red list guy that left at the beginning of the experiment? Well, he was now at the desert biome, with his totally not kidnapped sheep in the boat. He actually decided to take shelter on the side of the island for the night, and in the morning, he would make his way towards the Sand Eater's base. Now back over on the snow island, where most of the team was, they, uh, they were just mostly staying inside and sticking together to keep their base safe. However, there was a group of three that called themselves the Zoo Cult, and they were up to something bad and the snowblind lunatics were very suspicious of them. There's a panda person here and he's oh, wow. naked. That's a minor. No, they aren't naked. I saw them take off their enchanted, their enchanted iron armor. I mean, I could kill them with a lava bucket right now. I'm pretty sure they're trying to act non-sus, but I just saw them walk from the other mansion. I should probably kill him with a lava bucket, armor. seeing as they're trying to create pit parasites. So this was not good. It seemed like they had some rogue teammates amongst them and they had no way to kill them or do some serious damage. So they sent out a couple peace negotiators over to the Sand Eaters team to possibly come up with a plan to try to launch an attack on this cult to eliminate them from the team. Now, honestly, in contrast to the Snowblind Lunatics, the Sand Eaters were just a bunch of wholesome group of pals. It seemed like their main focus was just to make friends and fish. Oh, and also make signs. Lots of goddamn signs. Anyways, yeah, they decided to name their wall the, the Great Wall of Mexico. 
And then they had some guards to watch the perimeter for any creatures that tried to enter. So over on the green barrettes, all players were just chilling in the center of their, their little base. Also, they finally ran into their first parasite. It seemed like this one was called a raptor. Uh, it was a level up from the slug parasite. So this thing needed to be killed, or it could infect the animals nearby, spreading the virus much more. After the raptor was neutralized, they decided to start on making a huge wall out of cobblestone stairs, kind of like an outwards pyramid shape. This team was definitely growing stronger. However, the parasite was too, and it was soon to become a much bigger issue. These civilizations didn't know what was coming. So me and Comical Fish finally met up with the others in our scavenging group. And with this new squad of warriors, well, we made our way back to the base. This is a robbery. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is a robbery. Please give us your flesh. <laughs> hey, look what I got. I got a shotgun. Yeah, I got a shotgun. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. There you go. It's not working. Dude. Oh, wait, get back here. Um, You're just wasting the wait, durability, Simon. <laughs> I know, I, uh, my fishing rod just about broke, go. by the way, funnily No, enough. we finally made it back where the others were, and the first thing I did was accidentally kill a sheep and then started to watch this guy dig a hole or something. Uh, look, I don't know. After watching this guy dig a completely random hole, we made it up where apparently most of our team was, and well, I was shocked. Let me get in. All right. Oh my god, they're actually- I in fact did not use the fence. Now when arriving, I decided to harass the man himself, the professional fisher, Pepe Meme. Everyone's fishing. This is awesome, everyone's fishing, Pepe. Did you guys Pepe. just go to the house on the mountain? Pepe. Pepe. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we oh out. my That's god. That's where everyone is. Dude, he's here. If you don't know who that is, he basically just fishes and he is by far the most significant player in this, in this experiment. So I want to see everyone say something nice about him in the comments. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, when we were gone, someone willingly said that they wanted to be a war prisoner or something. So we decided to keep him locked up inside our base for fun. Yeah, no, we allegedly kidnapped him. Put him on a fishing run. I'm going to bring him back. Now remember that red list guy that I was talking about before? Well, he finally made it over to the base. This could be bad. Well, he was friendly, and he brought over a stall to the team so we could all fish with some tunes. So we all gathered around the pond and got past our differences. And well, we just fished while listening to some stall. Fishing works. Fishing does not work, it's just the aesthetic. <laughs> Man, music and fishing really brings people together. Also, dancing does. No. Oh, <laughs> all right. I know what time it is. <laughs> Once I saw this, I already knew. <laughs> Man, we got the best civilization. We already got free entertainment. <laughs> Thanks for the free stuff. <laughs> I should do this more often. Now over on this team, it seemed like they were mining underground to make this little, little council area. They seemed to have some sort of government. So they went to discuss an important topic. I, I damage. Uh, I'd like to be a leader here because, well, first off, I'm, I'm the one with the organizational skills here actually actually conducting the meeting. I got an Whoa. op, which is pretty cool. I've played the game for like 10 years, so I feel like I, I should make oh. a pretty good council member. Oh, Accurate, okay. why do you want to be a council member? <laughs> I will establish order within this city, okay? This town. And mo mostly, the, mo the most thing that's important, the most thing that is more important, I will protect our god right here. See, you see this? Him. Oh, it's it's fine. He can bounce back up. But I will establish order. I will keep us in line and make sure we are focused on our goal. And that's it. That's all I gotta say. Why okay, I want to be a uh, council member is because I want to be. What's it called? I want to lead this civilization to victory and kill everyone else. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Dead, dead Gore, you're next. Right. Ignore Hi, the codes buddy. in the wall. Like you said, my name's uh, Dead Glory. My main goal is to. We'll make sure everybody have, has fun, and the best way to do that, make sure everybody survives till the end. And I will be willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that happens. Uh, that, was a pretty good one. that was a good one. Okay. All right, Dr. Inc., that's your next. Uh, the reason I would like to run is I myself have uh, actual 
experience in logistics and management is a team. Well, I can help with resource management and oh, hear that? Some negotiating peace. You can help lead us lead uh, lead an army if need be. This is so like if we do have an army, it'd be a good thing as we Whoa God <laughs> Just oh, falls. <laughs> I'm just imagining he's in the middle of a speech and he just falls. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing the room, missing the room. Okay. Ready? I got, my, I got my letter ready. Three, on one. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, my god, you suck. Hands. So it was settled. Damage was now in charge of pests, and they found out their co-leader as well. This team was the first to have a government of some sort. So in the morning, three green barrette members made their way over to the desert island. Like um, I see, green. I see 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 green. Why is everyone coming I to our see... base now? I see green. Oh, it's gloomless! It's gloomless! It's gloomless. <laughs> They kill us, I swear to God. Okay, everyone be careful of these guys. There's what? One, two, three? Okay. Fight shield, fight shield! They understand! Fight shield! Yeah! Let's go! Alright. So the group of three that was traveling overnight finally arrived, and we decided not to kill them on sight. So we gave them a chance. Maybe we could make an alliance with them. Now, while a lot of the different team members were coming over at our base for some reason, uh, well, we decided to make a little secret cave where the only players that could enter were the ones from the Sand Eaters team. So this way we could have some privacy of some sort. And yeah, basically anyone that was from another team that entered would be shot on sight. So that was pretty cool. No, this is a full on warning. I won't warn you again. Do not go in there. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> oh, I, I am giving God. you a warning. If you guys go in here, you oh, will not survive. Dude, no, this I, is off limits. This is off limits. Yeah, do not do, go in do, here. So remember the snowblind lunatics that had that issue with the zoo cult? Well, Blinzy and a few of his members were here to discuss an alliance of some sort to launch an attack on the zoo cult to eliminate them from the picture. Well, at least that was a plan until one of our war prisoners decided to start some minor drama with the green barrettes. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting shot. Shot you. Who shot? You? Snow, snow. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like it's probably best we don't. All right. Okay. Well, that happened. Cool. Well, what do you what do you do? Oh, uh, okay. You know what? Can I, if I can have this gun, I'll forgive you. Yeah, yeah. That that's mine, and I'll forgive you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. And then it was settled. We just officially cut ties with the Green Barrettes. There was no peace alliance that was gonna happen now. So we had to eliminate the rest of them. Yeah, get Kroomless, just get him. Just get him. <laughs> just get, literally just kill him. Yeah. So Forrest yeah. is now against us, because we killed. <laughs> yeah, why did we kill that Forrest guy? Like, what, what, what did they do? Uh, don't know. I, I think that was a misunderstanding. Now there was one more, but we had no idea where he was. So we had to find him. What? Where? Here? They're in the tower! They're in the tower! Then he decided to cause as much destruction as he could before he died. He's teabagging. Oh, go, go, go! Grenade, 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 grenade! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Get <laughs> Go, go, go! <laughs> but then he was soon cornered and died an honorable death. We're definitely gonna be featured now because we just bombed them. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. Now with the new government in place, Pez was deciding to rush the middle without telling anyone else to take all the loot for themselves. A smart but dangerous move. They would have to be extremely careful if they wanted to survive. So they decided to gear up their best warriors to plan to rush the middle. It was the morning after the slaughter of the three Barrett members, and we started the day off with fishing with our god Pepe meme. Man, what a legend. And then after fishing for a bit and jamming to some tunes, it was now time for some business. So if we go over there and kill them, will the entire snow team attack us? No. Um, no, probably not, because the entire, entire snow them. team... The, the entire to kill snow them team is trying to kill them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We are going to launch an attack on the zoo cult. And well, even the snowblind lunatics wanted them out of the picture. So we made an agreement to take them out, and in return, we get alliance. Now this was going to be a dangerous feat, so 
since the zoo cult had insane armor, as well as a large array of guns, so this would be a very dangerous battle. So when night fell, us seven went out to eliminate this cult. We named ourselves the Anarchist Crusaders, and they had no idea what was coming. In the morning, this fierce group of warriors made their way over to the center of the map. This was going to be one hell of a journey, but they were a serious group of players, so I had a lot of hope in them. They eventually made it to a little island, pretty close near the middle. So, they decided to take refuge there for the night. So over on the forest island, the Green Barrettes were still kind of just staying out of the conflict, trying to build up their civilization as much as possible. I think this team was very smart about it, since they were more worried about defending from parasites instead of the players, since the parasite virus was soon going to be a lot more dangerous than any player. Trust me. Now over on this team, they started to see much more parasites around the area. It was clear this virus was becoming much more dangerous. All teams would need to be extremely careful. Kill the small ones, kill the small ones. supposedly good at OC. Uh, wait. Robby, Robby, there's a, there's a small one, there's a small one. During the night, while on the journey to the snow island, we came across a little group of people on the dock. So we decided to talk to them. What are they gonna do? There's like 20 of us. And they're all gone. No, I want this. I want this dude's armor. I need this diamond armor. <laughs> Say, give it to me. I have half diamond. Give! Give it. No! Give it. <laughs> give it. So, yeah, we wanted to rob them of everything they had. Give, give or you all die. On three, on three, two, on three. Oh my. He's, no, he's giving, he's giving, he's giving it, he's giving it, nope. he's giving it. He's giving it. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm... And yeah, so we may have decided to kill Gary in uh, cold blood because we wanted his items. This was a brutal act and a blatant war crime. However, every bad decision has its consequences. And an example of this is a player by the name of DeBirdie was now going to get his revenge. So we started to head towards the snow island, which was the exact place where we were going to launch our attack. He knew we would be there because for some reason he had some inner knowledge of this taking place. This was bad. We had no idea what was about to occur. Now it was day seven, and the siege on the zoo cult was about to occur. It's a host, it's a host, it's a host. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, careful, careful, careful. Yeah. Like, the group. It's fine, oh, just yo, ignore it, move on. Wow. It's gonna spread it's throughout everywhere. Oh, it's fine. Oh, oh no. We soon approached the zoo cult's base. It was fortified with huge walls. We were ready for battle. This was going to get a lot more bloody. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Go attack! 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 <laughs> Break the walls! Oh! Okay, chill, 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 chill. While fighting this cult, the snowblind lunatics were spectating and watching as their problem of the cult was being eliminated. They were beyond happy. Oh, they're attacking out. Oh, I see. <laughs> they're attacking the people of the church. Rest in peace, the child. Oh, okay. Oh god. oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'm at four hearts. Yeah. Every, everyone just... Uh, Warlock's dead! Oh, we did it. We killed him. Wait, I, I think I killed him. I think... I hit him down. I held him down. Let's go! Your first kill! Soon the entire cult was eliminated and went to go inside the base of our new allies. Do I have permission to come in? Am I good? Yeah, yeah, you okay, be good. Fine. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna steal anything. I just want to. We have walk. an alliance with you guys. Welcome so to Flanland. That is so cool. This is insane. What? Don't so build, dude, build it. How did you guys build this? 
What is this? There's a secret thing too. Uh, yeah, we just have on bases. And now the Sand Eaters and the Snowblind Lunatics were officially alliance after the entire zoo cult was eliminated. Now we didn't know this at the time, but the birdie was now at the base where we all were. He wanted to get his revenge of the death of his friend, Gary, the one we killed on the dock. He had to be extremely sneaky to get his chance to attack. He then saw me in the open. This would be the perfect chance for his payback. He was going to try to assassinate the YouTuber. Hi. Oh, oh what? Someone's hitting me. Someone's. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. I thought you were a parrot. Oh shit. 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 Oh he went right after me. What the heck was that? That's was stupid. Wait. Now this team was on the lookout for the attacker. Things were about to get a lot more complicated for Birdie. Oh God! Adapted long arms. Help! What? Help! What? Where? Ahead of the entrance. Help! The, My shield the, it, is about to... No! 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 Oh, oh, no. oh that... Oh. Uh, oh, run, no. run, oh god. Alright, we all left the base just to go kill this Did we get it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's bad. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, good. Um, we need to start covering up block shit. Which they I was trying to write out the message to them, saying how I like their base, and the guy just almost killed me. Arrows? arrows oh, wait, yeah. Oh. I got arrows. I have 36. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? Oh, God. He God. Oh, he's right there. But then the entire team spotted him, so he ran. He had to get out of there fast, or he'd be dead. He then later came back again and saw me climbing a ladder to a watchtower. He knew that I would get stuck inside if he shot at me. So this was his perfect chance to take me down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I'm oh, gonna nice. die. I'm gonna... He said he's dead. No. He said... No. No. Avenge me, guys. I was then assassinated and Birdie died a noble death. See, what I have learned from this is that every bad decision has its consequences. And well, we definitely learned that today. Now the Pez team and a couple other corrupt members finally made it to the shore. Yeah, everybody, oh, everybody wait, wait, stay wait. here. Here, I'll build a small camp right now. Five, they then decided to make a temporary base for the remainder of this experiment, where they could loot the Middle Island, while having some protective base to take shelter in. Now after the sad death of myself, the Snowblind Lunatics and the Sand Eaters gathered some of the fiercest warriors and traveled over to Jungle Island to try to raid the Green Barrett's base. If they could knock out most of them, they could give them an advantage to these two teams. So with this new plan in mind, they went on a long journey towards their new enemy. Now over on the Green Barrettes, their civilization was evolving fast since the last time I checked in. They had huge walls built, some watchtowers, a treehouse looking thing, and also some little trading post underground. It was clear that this team was not messing around. Now these two teams that ventured over to the middle island were really setting up shop here. They decided to have some guards that would stay back and protect the base, and they had some others elected to scavenge the area to try to find some sweet loot. 
Later, when it turned night, the entirety of this massive group were trying their best to keep the location locked down and secured. Yo, it's a giant, it's a, it's a flying mosquito. You guys see that? Oh, Where? you. Oh, oh, see it. It's out of my render distance. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's out of my render distance. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, that thing. It's it's that thing throws that bombs, dead. by the way. It's a bomber. It's a bomber. That what thing drops bombs. <laughs> That's implied by the name. On the morning of day nine, the anarchist crusaders were still in the forest island. However, they were questioning some of their members' loyalty. Uh, oh, the who shot me? Uh, was Dude. Him. He's the same guy that killed Gloomus. Well, uh, wait, yeah, wait, can, can we just like uh, take an executive vote to like get him out of here? All right, so before this goes any farther, let me explain. So remember when I got 15 tons of lead pumped straight into my body? Well, one of our members from the Snowblind Lunatics accidentally killed me. Yeah, so I may have caused one innocent person to be brutally executed. PTF. Executive PTF. order accepted. Guys, where are you? I'm lonely and scared. I don't need a melee weapon. I have uh, Diamond Halberd and Diamond Sword. There we go. For Gloomless. Oh, I got, I got uh, does, he have any, uh, does he have any ammo, by the way? I used all of the money <laughs> yeah. to kill him. And that was hard to watch. Rip guy, I, I'm so sorry for your loss. Now with one less member in their cult, things were looking rough, and the parasites were not holding back. One by one was dying to the parasites. The forest island was a dangerous place, and they now knew that. So the rest of them took shelter in the nearby jungle hut, while one of their members was deciding to go out to scout ahead and try to find the exact coordinates of the Green Barrett's base. Now in the morning, the combination of fierce warriors led by damage decided to rush the middle to get rid of all the parasites. Since it was spreading fast, and soon the entire island was going to be infected, so they had to rid the island of these parasites. Oh my god! What is going on? Another big just spawned in. Fuck, 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 This was a tough war. People were dying left and right to these parasites. Things were gonna get a lot more complicated. There's- oh, watch out, over there. Guys, over there, over there, over there, over there. Oh, there's the stairs. Guys, guys. He can stage four, lads, kill it. I don't have any more. I don't have any more. Except for my shotgun ammo, which is worse. There's like nothing right now. Oh, shoot. There's two of them, guys. Oh, jeez. Yes! Okay. Ah, I died! I just died. I just died. You died? They soon eliminated all the parasites and retreated back to their base. See, they thought they eliminated the virus from the Middle Island and stopped the spread. However, the parasite virus always finds a way to survive. A member from the Anarchist Crusaders finally made it over to the Green Barrett's base. And well, he was met with a little surprise. You know what, he's just looking at us. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, heading, I'm heading there right now. Towards. Yeah, towards. looking at us. Uh, I, I'm, all right, uh, just just go to the base and look north and look a little bit. You yeah, know the I'm quarantine right island now. to the right. I'm gonna challenge him. Should I, should I, should I go kill him? 
Kill him, please. Soon the entire team saw him. This was bad. He had to get out of there fast. But then a player by the name of Fruitly made an amazing shot and killed the scout. Kill him. They were very happy and thought that they got rid of the problem. However, this scout, before he died, he sent out the coordinates to their base to the Anarchist Crusaders. It was already too late. War was amongst us. Now while all this action was going on, a cult by the name of B, yes, that, <laughs> that's his literal name. It has a lot of backstory to it. It would be too complicated for me to explain. Anyways, three players by the names of Riddy, Music Sounds, and Hug Dubby were bunkered up underground. They wanted to seclude themselves from the rest of their team by digging underground like a goddamn mole rat and literally never seeing the light of day, something I'm very used to in real life. Now the rest of the remaining players that rushed the Middle Island decided to head back to the Plains Island since they didn't really have enough members to take on the Parasite Ender Dragon. Now over on the Anarchist Crusaders, they approach the Green Breath base. Uh, look up, look up. Lord. Uh, I think. Let's go. go. Oh, I, think, I think we should do it. Let's go. Oh, no. They've got watchouts. They got watchouts. They they could probably see us. Let's sneak to the <laughs> side. Oh, yeah. 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 Sneaky. Wait, there's a member outside heading towards you. Just stay yeah. there. Stay there. Get ready to shoot him. He's up there. He is. He's right there. Then a green beret member spotted the group. This was bad. They had to kill this player quick before their team was alerted of the attack. Well, yeah. oh, okay. oh, let's go. They know we're oh, here. They fell from a high place. Let's okay, go. Okay, they, don't know. they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They know we're here. They don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know yet. He wasn't in the call. He wasn't in the BC. They soon eliminated the problem and snuck up to the base, ready to take their first shots. Get your grenades out. We're just going to run. Oh, I see. Right. Are we gonna shoot at them at the same time? They're down, they're down. Okay, okay. Just go should forward, we go, go like blow up their okay. base? I'm trying, to, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get a good angle, give me a second. Then they launched their attack. Things were about to get bloody. One on the, one oh, yeah, on the yeah, tree! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. on the tree! Heads up. Just keep your gap. Yay, my first kill! My first kill! Oh, incoming! Keep going, keep going, don't don't up. Casually killing them. Careful of Fruity in the careful of the careful of Fruity in the tree. Hey, it's all my grenade. Oh my. Yeah, I know they're running, they're running. I hit I hit like all of them with the kill. Okay, I got a sniper too. Where is it? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Blinky. I'm sorry. That I did not know. Okay, uh, yeah, one. Uh, one I am more. really sorry, Blinky. I am really sorry. I'm alive. That's all that matters. Come on, come on, fishing, 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 come on. No, I am. I don't think anyone. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, jump on! Oh, no. Uh, Wait, I have a bazooka! Yes, I'm going to the tree! I'm sending out flashbacks! You should go. Just go. Okay. Oh, no. oh. I, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. I gotta go down, I gotta go down. Give me a grenade. Go, 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 go. Well, the is backing the tree. fell. I shot him off. When they took over their base, they realized something a little strange. And then just lo look here. <laughs> oh <my laughs> look. Uh, oh Red, do you, do you have any lapis, by the way? Let's go. Oh, we just, we just murdered that, your that worshippers. Guy oh, had a sniper. Girl, like, he so won. After the anarchist crusaders were worshipping this fishy statue, the rest of the remaining green barrettes retreated. For the anarchist crusaders just claimed another victory. Now the group that traveled out to the Middle Island was now back home, and while they wanted to make it back home to plan out what they were going to do for the remainder of this experiment, however, they would have to get past the dangerous parasites along the way. In the, in the sky, there's a thing in the sky. Oh, behind! Run! Behind us! Behind us! Oh, run! 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 Go! 
It's a Reeker. They do like a ton of damage. I know. We got it. Yeah. Okay, we need to get to base. We need to go. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, you died. No. Right, we're, we're good. Somebody stole our enchantment table. Yeah. They eventually made it back to the main base. And with countless casualties, they decided to play it safe and stay inside. So they would not lose any more members. Now after that huge battle, the Anarchist Crusaders, or what was left of them, decided to head back to the Snow Island to regroup with the others to see what to do next. Now the team that was making their way back from the Middle Island finally reunited with the Bee Cult. Are you guys still in the cave? Yeah, we're making our way down to the other people. Oh, look, there's, there's already way down. Oh, there is? Jesus. There are now two ways down. Oh my god. <laughs> So now they had three extra members, a significant improvement from what they had before. The Anarchist Crusaders finally made it back to their home, and they were done with killing for players, at least for now. Yo, There's yo, our little... it's us. Yo, they're coming to say hi. Yay. Hey. Hey. They're friendly, welcome party. Let's go. We're finally safe. Yes. We're not really safe, we're just no. trying to get more people. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, they have an internet table too, damn. They improved the base. Dang. With two levels. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Over on this team, something tragic happened. So remember when I said that there was a parasite issue uh, in this place? Well, one of the parasites dug a huge hole deep underground, and well, this unexpected member from the Anarchist Crusaders fell into the trap, and it was unexpected. And that's another tragic death. The population was dwindling, and it seemed like the parasite virus was becoming unstoppable. I don't know how they're gonna pull it together. Anyways, after this death, they held a funeral for him, and listened to some stall as they honored their fallen comrade. Now they wanted to honor their member and do what they do best, to shed blood. Let's go to planes! Well, if that wasn't a war cry, I don't think that is. Come on, lads, head to planes. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go this way! So they headed out to the only team that haven't been terrorized, the Pez team. So they grabbed some new members and went out to war. Wrong way! Let's go! You're going the wrong way, everyone. <laughs> You're going this the wrong the way. This is the first time. Thing following us. Thing following oh us behind you. Oh go. my God! Go. Look at the right! Look at the right and just run! Run! Oh just, go. just go! Just go! 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 Oh my God! Go and pop with it. Maybe we should have waited until so daytime, but okay. <laughs> And it was day 13, and the Anarchist Crusaders finally made it to the Plains Island. They were here to shed blood, but they first had to find where the moles were hiding. What are your guys finding thing over there? I think you'll be able to find them if you just keep on walking. We're on there. I, yeah, I don't Ooh. think I'm gonna live. It's like, that is shows. Yeah, Oh, God. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Red, go oh my god. Give him a hug. I am uh, running as fast as possible away from every parasite I've seen. Oh, that's oh, not very it. nice. Now, they had no idea what was coming and didn't know of an attack, but luckily they were in a safe, secure spot deep underground. So, this heightened their chance of surviving this bloodthirsty cult. They were getting closer and closer to the Pez team. They knew they were somewhere on this island. They could be anywhere. So they searched, trying to find any clues to lead them to where they were. Something There's down a lit up area down, down there. There's a lit up yeah. area down oh, there on the left. So they went around searching in hopes of finding them. Now it was at this point when the Pez team knew they were here. And they knew they were outnumbered. So their best chance was to hide or they wouldn't make it very long in this experiment. Now they were both near each other, just meters away. If one member finds his team, they'd be dead. What's up, yeah, guys? 
Cool, dude. What, what, is here? what is that cow doing? I don't think they're here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this yeah, isn't their base. Cows, they're not here. Yeah, oh, where you, are um, you people? You they probably them. went to jungle or snow or something. Or maybe yeah, they're in the middle. Go the to middle. the top of the mountain. We could oh, go to the middle. Now, how hard these guys looked, they couldn't find them. So they came up with a new plan. Uh, but we know they have new base at mid, so let's go mid and kill them. Yes, they were going to rush the middle island and look for the Pez team there. It was their best plan. So they left the main island and made their journey towards the middle. The anarchist crusaders finally left, and the Pez team sighed with a relief. They just dodged a huge bullet. If they would have been spotted, they would have no team anymore. Now the anarchist crusaders went a huge journey towards the middle of the map. And well, this place was much more dangerous than before. The parasite virus was spread, making this a much more dangerous place. So they had to be careful. Guys, it's like turning night. We should be a bit careful. Oh yeah, like that. Oh my god! Eventually, they made it to the center of the map, the Parasite Island. And they went to work clearing out an area for them to set up shop. Make sure that everyone's watching every angle so we don't get surprise attacks. I have F5 going, so. And then started to discuss something that may change the fate of this experiment. We're gonna Which talk peace first, and then if we want to fight them after, then we can do that. I mean, I do happen to have 19 TNT. Oh yeah, it's a peace uh, meeting in air quotes. A possible ceasefire amongst all teams. This was the only way in their eyes to defeat the bigger picture. With this new goal in mind, they started to build a peace negotiation building where they would discuss potential peace. However, PvP was not turned off, so they would have to be extremely careful. So they decided to tell everyone the location of the peace building, and everyone came, team by team, to discuss peace. Eventually the first team arrived, and it was the Green Barrettes, a team that had a lot of conflict with the Anarchist Crusaders. Welcome the survivors. Alright, alright. There's more of us though. Probably be fine. Wait, what? Let's be real. Oh, oh. Captain died. They're so yeah. geared. Now there was only a couple more teams they were waiting on. So in the meantime, they kept this peace building safe from the parasites around. Oh, there's Shut an invisible! It. There's an invisible! Ancient Dreadnought! Dreadnought! What the heck? Yeah. Now the first team to arrive today was the rest of the Snowblind Lunatics. And finally the last team arrived, which was the Pez team. And now they were all here. Every survivor in this experiment was on the island to discuss peace. Will they be able to come to an agreement or fail and ruin the chances of humanity ever coming back? So they hired some guards to keep a watch over the peace building. And the rest went inside to discuss peace. This was gonna be quite the serious talk. Okay guys, let's go kill the boss. And now that they agreed to work together to fight the Parasite Dragon, they marched into the cold and dead Parasite Biome. A dangerous place where no human should go. Parasite Thanks, above us, uh, Parasite above us. Above us. Everyone has you have better oh, The bio is so... They soon arrived and the Ender Dragon appeared. He sent out his Parasites to fight back. This was gonna be a legendary battle. There's someone in the middle. Wait, you would break that No, no, no. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.
There was then eventually only a couple people left. Humanity was lost. The Ender Dragon may have won. And the Parasite Virus was looking like it was way too powerful. That was not the plans of these players. They did not want to lose humanity, so they held their guns high and sent a ton of lead straight towards the Ender Dragon. Eventually, the Ender Dragon was defeated and the Parasite Virus was gone. All life was finally restored, for the Parasite Virus was cured and the experiment was successfully complete. Now it was time for the annual ending of the event. We decided to hold a wedding for two individuals that love each other very much. Yup, someone is about to get married to a crux. A very, very, very good looking parasite. Kiss him! Kiss him! Kiss him! Dude, you kill me. <laughs> oh, dang! Yo, chill out, bro! That's aggressive make out. Get him! Make out. Oh. Yo, that's sexual assault! Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. And if you want to be in future events, make sure to join the Discord server. Link in the description. Also, big thank you to Stoneworks for sponsoring this video. Make sure to join their server using this IP. And also join their Discord server.